All right, today I'm going to be unboxing the Dyson Cyclone V10 Absolute. Uh, you can see my video on the differences between the V10 and the V8. Uh, in the next week or so, I'm also going to have a ton of test videos with the Cyclone V10. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that. Looks like it uh, flips up like this. And right off the bat here, we have a few papers and things, instruction manuals and warranties, no doubt. I believe you get a two year warranty with the Dyson V10. Um, we have some attachments. These attachments look like the brush tool and the crevice tool. And we have the extension wand. Looks like some pretty sturdy aluminum there. All right, here we have, looks like this is going to be the way to attach it to the wall and some instructions for how to do that. This looks like the main motor unit in dustbin comes in its own little prepackaged box. So it's uh, wrapped in plastic. The battery uh, pack is new. It's a, called Fade Free Power. It's a new kind of ion nickel battery that apparently keeps its charge. Another thing here, you have indicator lights. This is going to be your battery life indicator life uh, indicator light, and this is a, a light that indicates whether or not there's a clog somewhere. But you can see, I think there's 18 cyclones on this. The oh, yeah, there it goes. Looks like it's got some tape around the trigger that's holding it down. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's ready to go right out of the box. At least mine was. You can see the battery life is indicating it's only got uh, one bar of power, but it certainly is working. Looks to be the soft brush roller. My understanding is that this hasn't changed all that much, uh, although the other one we're going to look at has. So This is only available on the Absolute, the soft brush. And this next brush roll is the torque motor, torque driven cleaner head, which is different than the just regular uh, motor driven uh, head and this is actually only available on the absolute and the animal but not the motor head the motor head has the old style the just standard driven head which is available with the v8 currently here are two other tools that were in the package that i didn't notice the first time uh, this is a motorized brush motor is in here and this is a smaller unit that's uh, mostly used for carpet on stairs and other kind of pet hair situations, upholstery. Uh, pretty cool tool there to have. And another brush tool. Uh, this one a little bit different shape for different jobs. It could probably use for a lot of dusting, maybe blinds. Okay, so let's get some of this out of the way and assemble this thing. Size. Not too bad in terms of weight. So uh, yeah, there it is, the Dyson Cyclone V10. We will be doing a lot of videos. I've got some suction power stuff, some a lot of uh, pickup tests. We're going to be comparing it with the Ion Flex. We're going to be comparing it with the uh, Dyson Ball Animal 2 in terms of suction and wind power as this is the vacuum that Dyson has said. It's the reason they're not going to develop um, uprights anymore because of the power. So we're going to put this to the test against some of the, or the top of the line Dyson uprights, uh, just to see how it does compare to those. So uh, please subscribe, hit a like button, and thanks for watching. <laughs>